Our apologies if you lost our coverage for you. Uh, uh, still nil here at the Claiborne ground between Basebridge United and Liverpool. Referee's not having any of it, and it could be a long day for a Basebridge United player so, so far today. Steph Galinsky, the moustached aficionado, will head the ball forward. Kane Richards brings it down towards this right-hand side of the wing. Has a crossing opportunity, uses it for the back stick, and that's a goal for Basebridge United. Aaron O'Connor slots it in. Beautiful cross by Kane Richards. O'Connor gets in front of his marker and puts Basebridge United ahead. Lovely. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to add to that, really. Um, a very, very good goal. A very, very bog-standard goal for, for this sort of level. Kane Richards was fantastically well to bomb down the line. Great ball in as well. It can't, it can't, be, can't be denied how good that ball into the box was. And then Aaron O'Connor did the rest. He's really hitting form at the minute, isn't he? Fourth goal in five games for O'Connor. As the ex Matlock goalkeeper is now here for Liver's Edge. Long ball forward, Marcus Marshall's offside, so he left it. Stuart opts to just faint <laughs> with Aaron O'Connor and dummy it, so it goes into the 18 yard area and then dives on it from outside of his area. Very, very clever. I've never seen that before. It's probably the slowest I've ever seen someone hit the deck as well. <laughs> Took him about five Flick seconds. Flick on header. Paul Walker's in the area. And that's cleared brilliantly by Don Roma. Adam Collin has to punch it as it was going in. Brad Gascoigne gets a secondary clearance. Atkinson's on the line. Goes back out wide. Then Walton. Walton skips past one. Crosses it. Looking for the back post. Don Roma win that header. Still alive in the base for United area. But Ryan Wilson will take care of that. Clear it up towards the away dugout. Walker plays it into the area. Gascoigne clears. Matt Thornall will now take it across the halfway line. And Baseford here are going to be breaking. This is what we meant earlier. Nice through ball towards Kane Richards. He's into the area. Nearly slips. Has crossing opportunity. He's wide left. Plays it back to Thornall. Thornall takes a nice touch. His second touch isn't as good and still drags himself wide left. Kane Richards tries and goes wide right. And he forgets the ball and Liver's Edge can half clear and then fully clear. Terry Hawkridge will pick it up on the centre circle. Play it to Declan Dunn. Dumb forward into Matt Thornall. Nice dummy. Marcus Marshall now has it round the turn. Shoots. And that's the second goal for Basebridge United. That is a brilliant, brilliant finish by Marcus Marshall. Nice one-two between him and Matt Thornall. Marshall just goes around his marker and shoots into that bottom corner. Brilliantly. And that is 2-0 to Basebridge. And a real bounce back performance from Ashton last week. It's fantastic. Fantastic goal again. We're always a little bit critical of uh, base for not quite having that cutting edge in front of goal, not having that clinical streak. And they've shown it today. They've had what, two shots, scored two goals. This is exactly what we want to see from Marcus Marshall as well, really demonstrating his ability to not only beat a man, but put a ball in the back of the net. He's done both fantastically well there. Here's Ben Atkinson. Atkinson's getting absolutely surrounded. Didn't hear the referee's whistle and... Decided to dribble past three men, but then the referee emphatically blows it, and it will be a free kick to Liver's Edge. He actually did well there, didn't he? Yeah. Nice little feet, shame it. None of it really counted, but um, yeah, proper midfield battle that, wasn't it? That little minute spell. Challenges flying in. Proper non league game. Proper non league ground, proper non league game. Header won by Walton. Ryan Wilson can get the advantage. That's 2 1. Jack Stockdale arrived at the back post and just slotted it past Adam Collin. Ryan Wilson was out of position marking Nicky Walker. And he just let it run on to the advancing Stockdale and Liver's Edge are back in it. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great goal. Don't get me wrong. It's a very good goal. Yeah, it is down this left-hand side as well, James. The sun has definitely been in effect. But it has moved a little bit. So You see 90% of the players on the pitch have their hands up in front of their face trying to block the sun out so they can see. That, if that's not a clear indicator... Oh, uh, Little bit of a miscommunication there, and Nicky Walker does get a shot off. Adam Collins saves it, but it wasn't. It was the same effort there from Nicky Walker. Yeah, he should have really done better there. It? And then go into Declan Dunn. Dunn switches the play to Brad Gascoigne in the centre circle. Gascoigne plays a nice ball along the ground for Marcus Marshall. Marshall gets robbed of the ball, and it will be a free kick to base for United. 35 yards out. Very, very central. Matt Thornhill is going to be the one to take it. Either him or Wilson. Looking like Thornhill. It is. Strikes it over the wall. And that's wide of the goal as well. Nice effort by Matt Thornhill. If it being on target, I think Stuart would have got it. But had him sprawling though, didn't it? Did have he him was sprawling. very, very worried about that when he's watching that over. 
I think Cambridge's whether there's contact or not will go down. I'm not doubting there was contact, but it just puts that bit of doubt in the referee's mind, doesn't it? Nice midfield battle, but uh, Daly wins it and gives it out wide to Paul Walker on this right hand side. Walker dancing, taking Roma with him. Dunn fills in and then Matt Thorne will fill and leave more but Atkinson just skips past two skips past three still on the edge of the area Don Roma will slide in but the referee played advantage for a reason and there will be a free kick to Liver's Edge right on the edge of the area Adam Collin in his crouching position Walker runs up absolutely kills that top ends. that is utterly utterly disgusting he did exactly what I said he would do which is try and curl that round the goalkeeper and the wall and he did that. <laughs> That's the best goal I've seen all season. We were right behind that as well, weren't we? That is utterly brilliant. And then and here's Nicky Walker. He advances. Brad Gascoigne and gets a foot in and will take it past two players himself. Plays it forward looking for Kane Richards. Richards is a little scorpion flick. And Marcus Marshall has just been sent off. I, I'm not entirely sure what for. It, it was off, uh, uh, an off-the-ball challenge. But this definitely makes it a lot harder for Bisford United now. As Marcus Marshall puts his head down and takes the long walk towards the tunnel. Right. Ben <laughs> Wilson. Um, advancing up and getting there. There is some changes on this base for United bench. There's there are a couple of lads that you know, are just getting a little bit warm and getting fitter as we could be seeing some half time changes. But speaking of half time, that is it. Matt Thorne has just gone over to the referee to ask him exactly what the sending off is for. Um, Thorne seems okay by the answer and obviously dejected he's lost. The player that scored the second goal for Baseford United. But it's good that you see senior players going over and asking the question. So Baseford swap into a back five. Uh, with Owen Betts and Ryan Wilson going wing backs. Here's Nicky Walker. Brings it back down about 20 yards into his own half. Sees an on forward runner. And Owen Betts will recover nicely to get there. The on forward runner was Stockdale who scored the first goal for Livers Edge. Walker up against Betts. Goes inside then out. Betts still defending nicely. Just stopping Walker from advancing. The ball goes towards Hardacre. Hardacre back to Walker. Don Romer's joined the fray now. In towards there. Adam Collin just t tips it over the bar. And that is a corner ball to Liver's Edge. Headed back in towards where Liver's Edge would try and attack it from with Joe Walton. Kim Richards will pick that up. Just gets absolutely steamrolled by Stockdale. And Ryan Wilson can recover. So that's Kane Richards trying to recover. Here's Nicky Walker, sorry. He's still wide left. Faint to Ryan Wilson. Try and play another ball in towards the back post. That's headed and that's gone wide. That's Livers' best chance of the half to regain the lead here. Headed back across goal by Joel Walton. Looking for that far post. Perfect header. Just a little bit too wide, James. But Wilson, yet again, trying to assess his options. That's two down the line. One inside. Uses Kane Richards. Richards the one inside. Richards rides a challenge. Shoots. Kills that. It's a stinger. Stewart has to palm it down and collect it a second time. That's Baseford's first shot of this half. And it was a good opportunity made by Kim. Throwing inside. Back out towards Hardacre. O'Connor. That is a beautiful challenge by O'Connor. That is ridiculous. And Hardacre goes down. And he is, he is going to speak to O'Connor. If Oh, this is unbelievable. And he's going to book Aaron O'Connor for this. I, I cannot believe that. But anyway, the change has been made. Number four, Ross Daly has gone off. And number 12, Alfie Raw has come on. He's, he's definitely arrived there in time. He's blocked it perfectly. And he's received a yellow card for that. You've got to give credit for number two here. He has put in a performance of a lifetime <laughs> to, put, to try and convince the ref there. The, Aaron O'Connor is a good three yards away from him. And he's hit the deck screaming. Shoving Don Romo away in the process. Ref James, here we go. Here we show number one, Ref James's pace. Flick on header. Here's Kane Richards advancing across. That is a yellow card offence. That is absolutely awful. It does not go anywhere near from the ball. And oh my God, now here, come, here comes the fireworks there. 
as Stockdale saw Mark Thornhill coming to just intervene there as the captain should do and Stockdale intercepted it and shoved Thornhill away immediately and the referee's got some yellow cards to dish out here because one it should be one for Raw as he, uh, as he cynically fouls Richards running cleanly through and the second one it should be for Stockdale just invoking everything and not needing to. So there should be two yellow cards being handed out here to Liver's Edge. We'll see how the referee deals with it. To the referee and trying to convince him of what Stockdale has just done there. He has carded Alfie Raw. Raw has been booked by the referee. You can it's hear not the sort ah, of and now he's going to speak to Stockdale. It's not the sort of challenge you want to see put on Kane Richards who spent a large portion of the early bit of the season. Oh, oh, injured with, with, an, with ankle an ankle injury. injury. Yeah. <laughs> with an ankle injury. The referee's just asked Thornell and Stockdale to just calm down a little bit. I am as well, actually, um, as Harris is considerably a large man. Goes forward. Matt Thornell will win the header. Nicky Walker brings it down on the left side. Up against Owen Betts. Beats Betts initially. And then the cross goes in towards the back post. Ryan Wilson wins that. That is a foul, but yeah. Livers Edge have scored. No free kick given on Ryan Wilson as he's fouled. But Liver's Edge have scored the winner. And that is Joe Walton with the header. Heartbreak for Baseford. But there's got to be some questions asked of the referee there as Ryan Wilson is fouled in the process. Ricky Walton. Joe Walton, sorry, with the goal. And that is Liver's Edge 3, Baseford United 2. Right on the 90th minute mark, James. I've, I've got nothing really to say. Um, good, don't get me wrong, fantastic header, but uh, the ball should have never got there. The ball shouldn't have still been. Ryan Russell was fouled in the yeah, process he was, he was immediately. He's gone forward. No best for player can win it. Declan Dunn does though. Stabs it forward. Goes back towards Owen Betts in front of the away dugout. He'll clear it, and that is the referee blowing the full time whistle. Liver's Edge have done it. They've advanced into the second round. Baseford fall again to a last minute winner. Baseford United were 2 0 up in this game. Two very early goals. Liver's Edge pegged it back to all before half time with a stunning free kick from Paul Walker, which is definitely the pick of the day. There's then a sending off from Marcus Marshall, which left Baseford with a mountain to climb. They held on gallantly, gallantly to the air, to the last minute, and the ball comes into the area. Ryan Wilson is fouled. There's no pick up on the foul, and it is a goal. Um, and we'll see you guys on Tuesday evening for a uh, FA County Cup game against Sherwood. So um, that would be that. And goodbye, everybody.